Ladies and gentlemen, so we come to our next speaker. Our next speaker is a very interesting person, Lovi Gilbert. She is a stay-at-home mom since 2010. Probably, I think you all feel that she is very lucky. She says she is 44. Uh, of course, another one not embarrassed to share her age. And you will have more secrets to learn from her later on. Uh, she is 44. She has three children, age 16, 8, and also 5. She is a MassCom graduate and former banker. Besides yoga and painting, she also watches true crime documentary and anime to de-stress. Uh, when you learn about it, why she say or she stress the word de-stress? Louis' topic tonight is intermittent fasting change my life. Intermittent fasting changed my life. Lovey Gilbert. Hi there. Thank you for having me. I'm Lovi, and today I'll be sharing about intermittent fasting and how it changed my life. Now, by now, I'm sure some of you might have heard about intermittent fasting or IF in short. Now, intermittent fasting was made popular by a guy named Martin Burkan. He is a nutritional consultant, a writer, and also a personal trainer. Now, prior to this uh, life-changing experience with intermittent fasting, I was going through a lot of emotional roller coaster after one of my younger brothers was murdered. He was 19 at that time. Now, to cope with the grief, I turned into food. I was using emotional eating just to comfort myself. Now, before long, I gained so much weight that some of my friends and family can't even recognize me. And at that point, right, some, doc some doctors have advised me to lose that extra weight due to my family medical background. Well, I can tell you, I tried so many things, from slimming centers to meal replacement, just to name a few. Now, we all know that losing weight is never easy, more so at maintaining that healthy weight, right? Now, this is when I discovered upon intermittent fasting in 2018. Now, what is intermittent fasting? Well, it's a period of fasting and then followed by a period of eating. The main objective is to lower down our insulin levels. And when this happens, it can help with fat burning. So how do you do intermittent fasting? Well, there are many ways of doing it. But one of the most popular one is the 16-8 method. Since it's the easiest way to apply into our daily life. So for example, we stop eating at 8 p.m. tonight and not eat until 12 p.m. the next day. So besides losing weight as one of the benefits, there are many more benefits by doing intermittent fasting. For me personally, intermittent fasting have changed my relationship with food and my life for the better. Now before this, I love sugar drink, sodas, Coca-Cola, you name it, it's my weakness. Now, I just see them as just sugar water. And I used to munch a lot too, especially when I'm watching TV, going to the movies, or whenever I feel bored. But now, I'm more in control of what I eat. 
and when I eat. But of course, I don't deprive myself with good food. You know, sometimes I do have ice creams and desserts, but always on sharing basis. Intermittent fasting changed my life for the better. When I also noticed that my body can digest food better and I can sleep better too. I'm more confident in my body now and this automatically motivates me to keep up with my exercise routine. As of today, I've been doing intermittent fasting for almost four years now. At one point, I managed to lose 15 kg in a year. And currently, I'm in my happy place. I'm not planning to lose any more weight, but I'm still doing intermittent fasting for its benefit. Now, the hassle of daily life can sometimes trigger negative emotions. Some of us may turn to food for comfort like I did. Unfortunately, emotional eating doesn't fix emotional problems. In fact, it tends to make it worse. So instead of using food as a remedy, I would recommend intermittent fasting to anyone who's going through negative emotions as a way of detoxing or to those who simply want to get healthy. And if you're wondering how I look like prior to intermittent fasting, here's a surprise, my before picture. Thank you. Thank you, Lovie. I think everyone have a good look at your before picture. I hope you never get back to that before picture with your determination and your continuously practicing intermittent fasting. Coincidentally, I'm also practicing intermittent fasting. I don't do it every day. Whenever I remember, I do it. But it is a healthy way of eating. Actually, we do not need to eat so much uh, because we used to think that, or at least I used to think that we need to eat more so that we can have more energy, especially we have a long day to go. That was what I thought, so I ate a lot. But ever since I practiced intermittent study, I changed my diet and everything. It seems that I have achieved some kind of a new harmony. A new balance, we actually do not need so much food to support us. Those are really the extra. That's why it went to our weight, it went to the fat, it went to the sugar and everything, which we find it hard to get rid of. Thank you for sharing, Lovie.